Continue seeing thefts of catalytic converters climb in the metro, and this evening a Metro East school district becomes the latest victim. Belleville's 201's bus fleet has been hit by thieves. News 4's John Kipper reports on how the district is dealing with this costly problem. A bit of unwelcome news bright and early this Friday morning for bus drivers and Belleville School District 201. Around 17 catalytic converters are missing from smaller school buses. We have had um, small, smaller incidents over the years, but nothing of this magnitude. Superintendent Brian Mincer says their fleet contains over 200 school buses, some to help out smaller school districts, and the theft caused quick changes this morning to get kids to class. So it impacted a specific segment of the fleet. Um, so we did have some work this morning combining some routes. Uh, but we were able to get all, all the students to school. Now the district is processing how the catalytic converters were removed and doesn't know the replacement cost yet. But in the end, the taxpayers will have to foot the bill. Obviously, it's it's troubling. Anytime you're, you know, you're dealing with the public's money, um, you hate to see a situation like this where um, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're going to have to cover the cost of these repairs. Now, Belleville police are investigating and they can't say much at this time, but looking behind the bus depot, there are clearly tracks on the bike trail leading to an opening in the brush that could get somebody over to the fence to where the buses are. Police also have surveillance video from the site and neighbors to try and catch the culprits. This isn't the first time this happened in the Metro East. Collinsville PD tells News 4 that four catalytic converters were taken off school buses there in 2021 in one incident. A bill passed in Illinois last year aims to curb the problem by requiring more documentation of those selling catalytic converters and limiting cash payments from the buyer. In Belleville, John Kipper, News 4. And the director of the Metro East Auto Theft Task Force tells News 4 he believes that law is already helping to slow down the thefts, but obviously the problem still comes and goes. When you're